I remember every death message I delivered after a car crash while I've been in safe hole. I remember the feelings I felt walking up to a door, I was sick to the stomach, um, not knowing what I was going to say and how um, the family members or close friends are going to react. Um, but every one I've delivered sticks with me and I remember their reaction, they're crying, screaming, some were just in complete shock and not saying a word and that is something that always stick with me. There's mixed emotions. Um, you're always thinking about the person or the people involved in the crash. You're thinking about their family. Uh, you internalise a lot of things and you also think about the people who caused it. There's frustration towards them. Uh, and there's also a lot of empathy as well because you know that they're going to have to live with that for the rest of their life. For the road crashes, I feel frustrated sometimes because I feel most of them could have been avoided. Most of them didn't need to happen and the suffering that happens as a result just feels so needless to me. After I've seen a serious crash, it, it, does, it does hit home. You do tend to you know, hug your family a little tighter and just to make sure they're all right. Your split second decision could change someone's life forever. Think about how you would feel if this was a loved one of yours. Driving behind the wheel of a car is not just something to be taken lightly. You can cause serious harm when you're driving a car if you make a poor decision. So I just want people to take it a little bit more seriously. Don't use your phone, don't eat while you're driving, don't drink drive, don't drug drive. They're all decisions that you can make to make our roads safer for everyone. Slow down, be courteous to others and be kind to everyone.